We are the group 9 of 9 Newton and we are going to discuss all the lessons that we have in our subject and the geo. Cedric will show you how to find the distance on my number line. The problem is you are at point A and your destination is at point B. Calculate the distance you need to travel. The formula on finding the distance is x of 1 minus x of 2. Then get the absolute value. In this equation, you will subtract neg negative 6 with 1. So it will be the absolute value of neg ne negative 6 and negative 1. The answer here will be negative 7. And then you will get the absolute value of negative 7, which is 7. So the answer to the problem is 7. Thank you. For finding the midpoint in a line segment, the formula is the absolute value of x1 minus x2 over 2. For our example problem, we are four, negative 4 kilometers away from Vista Mall to the west and our friend is 3 kilometers away from Vista Mall to the east. Find the midpoint. So we are going to subtract our two points in the number lines with our, which are four, negative 4 and 3 dividing them over 2 and getting the absolute value which is 1 half. For the distance in a line segment, our formula is d equals square root of x of 2 minus x of 1 squared plus y of 2 minus y of 1 squared. For our problem, we have 10 1 and 1 10. So we are going to substitute the given to the formula. We will have d equals square root of 1 minus 10 squared plus 10 minus 1 squared. If we simplify these values, we will get negative 9 squared and 9 squared. If we simplify it again, we will have 81 plus 81. Then we will add it and it will become 162. We are going to find the square root of 162, but it isn't a number that has a square root. So we are going to find the multiples of 162, which are 81 and 2. We are going to get the square root of 81, which is 9, and we are going to put 9 outside and put 2 inside the square root. For the midpoint formula, we have x sub 2 plus x sub 1 over 2 and y sub 2 plus y sub 1 over 2. For example, we have 3, 5, and 4, 9. So we are going to substitute the given to the formula, which is going to be 4 plus 3 over 2 and 5 plus 9 over 2, which we will be 7 over 2 and 14 over 2, which will be simplified to 3 and 1 half and 7. So we are going to plot the points, and we are going to plot the x and y that we got from the formula, which is 3 and 1 half and 7. So when we plot it, we got the exact midpoint of the line segment. For the formula of division of a line segment, we have x of p equals to m times x of 2 plus n times x of 1 over m plus n. And our formula for y of p is m times y of 2 plus n times y of 2 over m plus n. We have negative 5 and negative 3 and 3, 4 and our ratio is 1 is to 2. So we, so here we plotted our points. So here we are guessing where is the division of our line segment is.
So we are going to substitute the given to our formula which will be x sub p is equals to 1 times 3 plus 2 times negative 5 over 1 plus 2. If we simplify it, it will get 3 plus negative 10 over 3. If we will be 7, it will be 7 over 3 and we will transform it to a mixed decimal so it will be negative 2 and 1 thirds and that will be our XP. For our YP, 1 times 4 plus 2 negative 3 over 1 plus 2. When we simplify it, it will be 4 plus negative 6 which will be negative 2 over 3 so that will be our yp so our xp will now be 2 and negative 3 1 thirds and 2 thirds and negative 2 thirds we will plot these points and and we will plot it to see our guess was pretty close to the result Our next lesson is extension of a line segment. The formula is the same as the division of a line segment, but the difference is that we are finding x sub 2 and y sub 2 instead of x sub p and y sub p. For our example, we have x sub 1 and y sub 1 as 1 and 2 and our ratio is 1 is to 2. The midpoint of our line segment is 5, is 5 and 5 which was originally our x sub 2 and y sub 2, but since the line was extended, it became our midpoint. So here, here is our example. So this is the case 1. Uh, since we already found uh, the x sub p, which is 5, uh, we are going to find the x sub 2 now. So 1 times x of 2 plus 2 times x of 1 over 1 plus 2. Now, we will multiply 3 uh, to 5, so it will be cancelled. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So our equation now is 15 is equal to x of 2 plus 2. So now, we are going to go and transpose 2 to the other side so x sub 2 will be left alone so 15 minus 2 is equals to x sub 2 so 15 minus 2 is equals to 13 so our x sub 2 is 13 now for our y sub 2 we have 5 is equals to 1 times y sub 2 plus 2 times 2 over 1 plus 2 so now we have 5 is equals to y sub 2 plus 4 over 3. We're going to do the same thing and multiply 3 to 5. And 5 will become 15. So our equation now is 15. is equals to y sub 2 plus 4. We're going to go and transpose 4 to the other side. So it will become 15 minus 4. So it will become 11. Our y sub 2 now is 11. So when we plot it, So here are two points, we are going to plot it now. And as you can see, our prediction was pretty close to the result of our equation. 